In this session, we're going to talk about recovery and undo. So, what is recovery and undo? Well, whenever you're working, every now and then you do come across a point as to where you've made a mistake and you need to undo it. And the best way to do that is to actually show you a file in which we're going to make mistakes and uh, undo our mistakes. So, I'm going to go to File, Open, and I'm just going to open a file. Um, which one? Let's say Park Bench. I'm going to open that file. Let's see, all right. So here we are. So if we were working on this image, and I decided to do something like um, using a lasso tool, if I decided to cut around, let's say here, you know just for this tutorial this is not a perfect cut alright and I decided to well, do something like this and then you know just um, add an effect to it you notice this entire area has a different shading than what it used to be alright um, if I'm happy with that well I can get rid of this layer. I didn't really need it. It's just uh, so here is now. You can see the difference, All right? And once I do that, I can actually merge the two layers together to make this, you know, just one picture. And to do that, I'm going to hit Control Enter on my keyboard. Control Enter, if you notice right here, has merged the two layers. Now, if that's not what you wanted to do and you thought of something else well you could just go to edit undo merge and automatically you see that right there now if I want to control E again on my keyboard I can also use the shortcut which is actually one of the most used shortcut in in Photoshop and that's the control Z so I'm going to come back to my stage. I'm just going to control Z and here I am back to where I used to be. On the same token I can use the um, file or actually the revert to last save version tool and to do that I can go to file and revert. Now when I click revert I want you to pay close attention to this particular area. Look at what happens. If I do that it reverts back to its original state right so that's also a very good uh, way of going back over your work if you have messed up and you need to go back and uh, change something or start all over that's another neat way to do it and of course we can always go back to the edit and say undo revert and there we have it again another neat little function is the um, restore part of an image to its previously saved version what that means is this if I was working on th this bench let's say uh, okay I, I want to work on this layer first of all let me unlock it by double clicking and clicking OK alright and let's say I use the um, clone tool for example and let's say uh, I'm going to change the size of my clone tool I'm just going to really exaggerate this so you can see you know the difference in what's really happening here all right so I'm gonna come over here and choose let's say um, this area right here and we're gonna cover the clone tool um, actually we already covered the clone tool earlier in the, um, in another session which dealt with tools in the toolbar and uh, I pretty much show you how to work the uh, clone tool so I'm gonna click alt I get this crosshair and I'm going to left click on my mouse which tells me this is now the area I've selected as a base to actually clone from so if I come over to this bench and I start moving around the bench you notice the bench is being erased and it's being replaced by you know the floor this image is actually being copied from right over here right and so that's how we achieve that if I wanted to go up here well I'll find something similar click over here and so on and so forth 
that is really bad cloning but you, you get the point all right now after doing this I may think hmm you know what I, I want to bring this bench back and um, instead of going to edit undo clone stamp which will actually get you one step closer to where you wanted to go another neat way to do it is by going to the history tool look right over here this tool is called the history brush if I click on the history brush and uh, let me increase the size of the brush to something like this I'm sorry I moved this inadvertently okay if I come back to the areas that we've been cloning and I click and drag right over it look at this it brings back what used to be there that I cloned over alright so as I'm going over it's pretty much undoing all of the cloning that I did so by just browsing over it you can restore an image back to its initial state so in a nutshell that's it